So, you want to make a working vending machine in Minecraft? Well, you've come to the right place. Because in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do this with just a few command blocks. So, here we are in my command block world and my redstone world. This is where I've done some other cool stuff in the past, but today we're going to be focusing on the vending machine. Now, this design is going to be taken from the Diamond Wasp, who makes quite frequent build hacks. Pretty new to the platform, highly recommend checking him out. But either way, you can see right here that he made a video about a vending machine. So, we're going to be basing it off that thing. So, uh... And boom, there we have it. Vending machine has been built. Now, I had to change it a little bit because we're going to have to place ourselves a button right over here. And then we're also going to grab ourselves a dropper. Now, the dropper is going to have to be placed right over here and then another dropper over here. And that's simply because, well, you kind of need a dropper to be able to put in items. That's how we'll do it. Now, I'm just going to place one of the new bamboo buttons, which I think look quite good as the button. So, you're going to go ahead and place the hopper actually right over here of course so this thing will launch into the hopper the items and it's after this that you're gonna place three blocks right here and then grab yourself the redstone comparator two redstone dust place a redstone repeater down here put a block over here and then finally grab a redstone torch place it right here this will act as the sort of blocking system for this item hopper and we'll also ensure that you can not only use it once now next up you're gonna grab yourself a command block now in this scenario i'm just gonna go with the same thing here and i'm just gonna do a pretty standard one do slash give at p potion 115 which gives us one speed potion of course and so now you can grab whatever you want you can use gold nuggets you can use diamonds which i guess i'll use in this case and I'm just and you're gonna start by making sure that you have 18 in one slot and then four others. I'm gonna get rid of these and then I'm gonna grab all of these into one area. I'll place four over there, rest 18 in here, and this thing will just about power this one signal. Now that means that when it, whenever you place another one in, say a diamond right here. You will see that I will be given a potion of swiftness. Now, the reason why it worked so well is because once this thing actually gets another diamond in, I'll try to show it right here. You can see quickly that that thing actually lights up the signal, which in turn both executes the command and also shuts off this redstone torch, blocking the hopper from putting any items into the chest. And here's, of course, the collector's chest, where you can put some diamonds. Now, if you want to, you can, of course, just have a dropper drop out an item for you. That is, of course, very easily done, too. But since this is a command block tutorial, I'm just going to go with that. And I think that should work just fine. Now, of course, you can give yourself whatever you want. Let's say you want to give yourself a cookie. Well, if I could spell that is. There we go. Placing a diamond for a cookie. That's not how cookies spelled at all. It is like this. I'm also going to get rid of this trap door. As they are otherwise just going to get annoying when opening. And so you see, I'm putting in a diamond. You can see I was given a cookie. Now if you want to make different amounts, you can easily just replace the number afterwards. Let's say a diamond's worth 10 cookies, right? And so I'll take a diamond, switch into game mode adventure. Put in the diamond, and as you can see, you've been given 10 cookies. Now, if you don't want any of this extra redstone for some reason, you can always just make another command block, cloning this exact hopper right here. But that will actually mean that you won't get anything back, which is kind of stupid, and it's why I went with this solution. Now, if you want to give yourself some change... If you give a diamond and you realize that it's not enough for one cookie, you can always just do slash give at p gold ingot. And let's say I give myself three golden ingots once I pay a diamond, like three golden ingots and a cookie. So you can see I put it in. 
I will get back my change and also the cookies. So there you go, a pretty simple tutorial on making a working vending machine. But wait, don't go yet because there is a little bit of an announcement here. I know I'm gonna keep you here for a while, but that's because very soon, in fact probably tomorrow even, the first video of Simple Solutions will drop, which is a series that I'm gonna be making maybe even with some other command YouTubers, who knows, we'll see how it goes, where we just kind of break down some of the easier commands in the game, like how to use the slash fill, how to use the slash tag. So if you have any commands you're wondering about, or even any s functions that you can use with commands, make sure to comment them down below, and that just might be in the next video. Anyways, apart from that, I hope you really enjoyed, I hope this helped you out in a way or two, if it did, of course I'm gonna tell you to subscribe, that's obvious. And if you don't want to subscribe and get notifications when I post videos, you can at least leave a like in case it helped out. Means a lot. Anyways, that's about it. Subscribe 